A Dreer High School employee is giving going for the goal a whole new meaning. Cassandra Hires is a two-time Olympian for the USA handball team and now serves as the in-school suspension supervisor for Dreer. She says the lessons she learned competing at the highest level are what she wants to model for students throughout the school. Some of the nature's competitive nature, some of your work ethic, hard drive, and just sticking to your goals is something that I try to transfer to the kids. You know, and the first thing I ask them is, what is your goal? What are you trying to do? And I'm gonna try to help you, and if I see you, you know, throughout the time, if your goal is just graduation, and you know it's gonna be tough, then my goal is to help you graduate. It's like, okay, let's keep you going, see where your next level of education is, your opportunities, because someone helped me. So it's only natural to continue to pass it on. Community members, students, and school and district employees unveiled the C.A. Johnson High School Wall of Fame last week. Administrators say the collection of graduates shows students they can go anywhere from Richland One. We wanted everyone to see that C.A. Johnson is not just a school, it's a historical school. It's a school that produced senators, legislators, house of representatives, doctors, nurses, lawyers, all of that, business people. We wanted them to see what came out of C.A. Johnson. So that's why it was done. Now, from what I understand, we're gonna have to make a continuation of this because that wall all the way down the hallway eventually be full one day. But next year we'll continue with this, add some other, because there are a lot of people who've uh, graduated from C.A. Johnson, past and present, who are making significant contributions to society. They did it again. Congratulations to the W.J. Keenan High School girls basketball team on winning their third straight state championship. Keenan defeated Camden High School 60 to 58 for the 3A state title. The Superintendent's Book Club has launched. To become Superintendent's Book Club members, students must read either 100 picture books or eight chapter books between March 2nd and May 6th. Read more about the book club, including the special incentive Dr. Witherspoon is offering to encourage students to read 250,000 books by May 6th at www.richland1.org. Six Richland One student athletes finished their seasons by placing among the best wrestlers in the state. The South Carolina High School League's 2022 Individual Wrestling State Championships were held February 25th through the 26th. 13 Richland One wrestlers qualified to compete in the state championships and six of them placed in the top four in their respective weight classes. Columbia High School senior Isaiah Black and Dreer High School senior Bryson Harper placed second in their respective weight class. W.J. Keenan High School senior Sam Alakel placed third, and Lower Richland High School senior Tamiris Lippett, C.A. Johnson High School senior Trayvon Riley, and Dreer High School senior Joshua Smith each placed fourth in their weight class. Isaiah Black and Bryson Harper were also named North-South All-Star Wrestlers, a distinction given to the best seniors in the state. Students and staff throughout the district participated in special activities in celebration of Read Across America Day. Read Across America is the nation's largest celebration of reading. Sheriff Leon Lott visited H.B. Rame Elementary School to read to a second grade class. Don't forget that Richland One will hold its annual spring in-person teacher job fair on Saturday, April 2nd from 10 a.m. until noon at W.J. Keenan High School. This event is specifically for those seeking employment as teachers. For additional information about the 2022 Spring In-Person Teacher Job Fair, call 803-231-7423 and visit www.richland1.org slash careers to see what positions are available throughout the district. And that's what's happening inside Richland One.